Hello students. Today I'll take an English grammar class and I'll take a class on narration. What is narration? The art of reporting the words of a speaker is called narration. There are two main ways of reporting the words of a speaker. One is called the direct speech and the other is called indirect speech. Direct and indirect speech can be a source of confusion for English learners. Let's first define the terms. Then we will learn how to convert the speech from direct to indirect or vice versa. Direct speech. Direct speech repeats the exact words spoken. When we use direct speech in writing, we place the words spoken between quotation mark. For example, she says, what time will you be home? And sentence number two, John said, there's an elephant outside the window. So here we are expressing the words of the speakers exactly in the way the speakers have spoken the words. We are not changing the mode of narration. And at the same time, you can see that we have put the words of the speakers within quotation marks. Now let's talk about indirect speech. Indirect speech is usually a reported extract of a conversation. So we normally change the tense of the word spoken and inverted commas are not used here. Here are two examples and I have taken the statements I have used for citing examples for direct speech and I have converted them into indirect speech. Now the statements are first she says what time I shall be home and number two John said that there was an elephant outside the window. Now girls here the first thing to notice over here is there is no quotation mark since we are changing the mode of narration we are reporting what the speakers have spoken here i just want to tell you that you can see two verbs in each sentence you saw two verbs in the direct speech too but in direct speech one verb was within quotation mark and the other was outside the quotation mark but here there are no quotation marks the verb outside the quotation mark is called reporting verb and the verb within quotation marks is called reported verb later when i'll talk about the rules of changing tense, the things will become much more comprehensive. Here are the rules of changes in time and place. The words expressing nearness of time and place are changed to the words expressing remoteness. Now let us see the rules. If we have now in direct speech, it will be changed into then in indirect speech. Likewise, here will be there. This becomes that. This will be changed into those. Come will be go. Ago becomes before. Today becomes that day, tomorrow will be the next day, yesterday becomes the previous day and last night becomes 
the previous night. Now let's take an example. In direct speech, it is said, You said, here lives a lion. And when we'll change it into indirect speech, the same sentence will be said, You said that there lived a lion. So here of direct speech changes into there in indirect speech. Now let's check what are the changes that take place in tense while changing the mode of narration. The sequence of tenses will be number one if the reporting verb is in the present or future tense the reported verb is not changed for example direct speech he says i am always busy so the reporting verb is in simple present tense so the there will be no change in the reported verb also and when we will change it, we will say or write that he says that he is always busy. Next, number two. If the reporting verb is in the past tense, the tense of the reported verb is changed into the corresponding past form. That is, simple present tense will be changed will be changed into simple past tense likewise present continuous will become past continuous present perfect will become past perfect and present perfect continuous tense will be changed into past perfect continuous tense for example direct speech he said mother works hard and the same sentence is changed into indirect speech and it is said he said that mother worked hard the reporting verb is in simple past tense and the tense of reported verb is changed into simple past tense the third rule of change in the sequence of tenses is if the reporting verb and the reported verb are both in the past tense the reported verb jumps over a tense that is the simple past tense is changed into the past perfect tense and past continuous tense into the past perfect continuous tense for example he said i did it the direct speech is changed into indirect speech and it will be he said that he had done it so here did the simple past tense did takes a jump and becomes or changed into past perfect tense the last rule is one of the most important rule to keep in mind while changing the mode of narration. Rule number four. If the direct speech states all time truth or the universal truth, the tense of the reported verb is not changed. For example, direct speech, people said man is mortal. In direct speech, people said that man is mortal. There is no change in tense of the reported verb. Next, we will see the rules of change in persons at the time of changing the mode of narration. Rule number one, the first person that is I, we, are, and us of the direct speech 
is changed into the person of the speaker. For example, you said, I don't know. In indirect speech, it will be changed into, you said that you did not know. Rule number two, the second person, that is you and your, of the direct speech is changed into the person spoken to. For example, direct speech, I said to you, you lied. Indirect speech, I told you that you had lied. Rule number three, the third person, that is, he, she, they, his, her, there, of the direct speech is not changed. Let's take an example. You said she praised herself. Indirect speech. You said that she had praised herself. So, there is no change in person in the third person. Girls, by now you know that there are two kinds of questions. WH questions, the questions that start with WH word and yes no questions, question that start with auxiliary verbs. Now let's see how the transformation of narration takes place for a question. First let's take example. In direct speech, we will say, she said, what is your father? And it is changed into indirect speech. She asked what his father was. And let's take a yes, no question. Direct speech, she said, is he busy? And in indirect speech, will transform it and will say she asked if he was busy so the basic rules that we are following over here are number one the reporting verb is changed into ask or inquire number two the question is transformed into a statement number three for wh question the WH word remains unchanged. And last, for yes or no type question, the verb ask or inquire follows if or whether. There are some sentences through which we express suggestion or prayer. Such sentences start with let. Now let's see how we change the mode of narration of the sentences that starts with let. Let's discuss the proposal first. Rule number one. The reporting verb is changed into propose or suggest. And let is replaced by should before the reported verb. For example, he said, let's go home. And in indirect speech, when we change the mode of narration, we will say, he proposed that they should go home. Now, let's discuss the sentences that express prayer. First, the reporting verb may be changed into request or wish and let is replaced by might or might be allowed to before the reported verb. For example, she said, let me come in. So, it's a request. So, we will write, she requested that she might be allowed to come in. 
सो दीज आर द रूल्स ऑफ चेंजिंग द मोड ऑफ नरेशन फॉर द सेंटेंस विथ लेट Now let's see the rules that we follow to change the mode of narration of the sentences that express desires. The rules are the reporting verb is changed into wish or pray and the desire form is changed into a statement. For example, he said to you, may God bless you. and when we change the mode of narration we say or we write he prayed that god might bless you now here is a point to remember whenever there is uncertainty as to the person to whom the pronoun in the indirect speech refers the name of the person should be given in bracket for example he said to rabi you are ill and in indirect speech when you will write it you will write he told rabi that he within bracket rabi was ill the class will remain incomplete if you don't practice the exercises on narration here are some practice materials for you to do in your english copy now the exercise is change the mode of narration of the following sentences sentence number 1 he said that he had never been there before number 2 miss said don't read this book number 3 i will always love you said her friend number 4 he said that she had told him number 5 she said to her children you mustn't play with knives number 6 she asked what he had seen number 7 the headmistress said let us say our prayers now number 8 come in she said to me number 9 she said what's about the fees number 10 he said goodbye my friends number 11 the spectators shouted bravo well played number 12 what a fool you are said the mother to her child number 13 the monk said may god pardon the sinner number 14 she wished that i might prosper in life and number 15 i said to him may you have happy returns of the day sentence number 16 he said to me you are honest so i shall play with you from tomorrow 17 he said habit dies hard 18 she said this life is not an empty dream number 19 he said to her you were a mere child when i saw you last 20 i said to him did you go there 21 he inquired of her if she had a good guitar Number twenty-two, I said, "Are you writing a letter?" Number twenty-three, the boy said to me, "Why did you hurt me?" Twenty-four, how can I do such a thing? Said he. Twenty-five, 
25 he said to his father will the next letter come tomorrow 26 what does it matter if we do miss the train said he 27 my friend said to me go at once 28 halt shouted the officer to his men 29 the boy said sir please grant me leave and number 30 god said let there be light hope you have found the grammar class on narration to be useful please do the exercises i have given you also do the exercises on narration that you will find in test papers thank you